Greetings, everybody. I wanted to make uh, a quick video about reincarnation, um, what exactly that means and what exactly that is for us. Um, see, people, when you hear the word reincarnation, especially in the West, it's really blown out of proportion and made seem kind of comical or just totally unrealistic. You know, you hear the joke like, yeah, I'm going to die and come back as a horse and just made this kind of joke but there's actually a great depth to um, reincarnation and uh, it doesn't exactly just mean that like um let's kind of dig into what reincarnation is um first of all i think um i like to think um like our universal position in the physical world right here and now such as um there's a tree outside in my yard if I was to cut a branch of that tree off that exact it wouldn't be the same branch that grew back however it would be in the exact same spot it may look a little different but it will be in the exact same spot that the other branch was it's going to have the same exact universal position um, and the significance of that would be just the characteristics is the fact that we might uh, experience same thing, kind of figure skate along the same lines of each existence, such as, you know, this tree in my yard, um, you know, me, uh, my family and I, we live here. So that branch, you know, it spent its life, say, running with my kids, touching it or a football thrown at it or something like that, right? So if it was in someone else's yard it wouldn't have that experience so we cut the branch off then there's no more branch to experience but when it grows back even though it's different looks different didn't know it was ever there before it's just kind of hanging out here you still have my same kids running by grabbing it and football thrown at it so the chances of it experiencing the same thing over and over again are definitely increased just by its universal position okay so think of think of the human body as like a, a, a radio okay so there's these uh, um, different um, or think of our existence more I guess as, as a radio so human say you know 92.3 okay so that's the human the human channel right say uh, say a dog is 43.1 that's not a channel but <laughs> Okay, say a dog's on that channel. So each time there's a, an energy frequency that you got to tune into, right? So there's these vibration levels of energy, just flows of energy, just river, river of life, just, just rivers of energy, constant movement, just like a, just like a water, just like when you go to a river and look at, it, just like the water's flowing. And that's just how our energy flows, right? Well, that being said, so the each, so it vibrates and it's just a vibrating frequency of energy and it's just so what does that mean that means that say after we die depending on where our energy is being frequency if we're right here on the exact same plane then boom then we would come right back as a human i would imagine okay so we but when you think of things like um um, love, happiness, caring, general, like all of these things are things that raise your vibrational frequency. We literally vibrate faster, which is going to increase. So would that put you on a higher realm of existence potentially? I mean, I've not kept my memory and died, so I don't, I don't know. Um, but potentially, so say if you're a really, really shit person and did a whole bunch of bad things and you're vibrating slower and slower and slower to me it would definitely seem possible that you could come back as a less evolved animal or a plant or anything depending on how low you were vibrating because to me it just seems like once the energy is released it just depends on whatever station you're on is what some kind of something you're going to hit and just like you know i brought up the tree example so just like there's that so i will come back in a general vicinity but who knows on what level of frequency because the plane whether because this kind of collides between what's physical what's elusive what's energetic like all of these planes of divisions that we have 
truthfully no idea about, it's going to put me somewhere depending on how I'm vibrating, what my frequency is. So to me, it just seems like that's the only thing that could happen. Um, but, you know, so I mentioned memory. So let's talk about memory in the sense with reincarnation. Like, okay, so I'm me. Like, I'm only me. And, you know, like my, I have my favorite color. I have my favorite things to do. I have certain things just all due to the environment and the social environment in which, you know, I was raised in this physical person. You know, creates the memory, subconscious, blah, blah, blah. Makes me this person. I like this sports team. I like this color. All because of influences, certain roundings, recycling, recycling from this experience, spitting it out, and creating this who I call me. So that was, that's what makes me me. But if you if I had a tragic car accident tomorrow and my memory totally clean, wiped clean, you know, I wouldn't be able to recognize uh, my family. I wouldn't have the same favorite color. I wouldn't have any of those things. So potentially... Yeah, my physical being would be the same, but I wouldn't be the same. So that being said, when we reincarnate, we, you know, obviously the, we lose our memory in between each one. No matter if we've had a million, no matter if we've had two, like we lose our memory in between this death and rebirth process. So with losing our memory, what, how can, you know, one could say, how could that make you, you? Because you don't have the same memory. Well, potentially no. But it is the same because I don't know if I believe in like a, if it what they call it, it's like a soul that I do believe there's a more inner being of us that um, lives and uh, potentially rebirths on different planes and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But the significance of, so just as, you know, the tree branch doesn't have memory that it was once there, it was there. And it's there again. So, you know, uh, maybe like, there's some uh, great, uh, really great stories about Thoth, uh, the Egyptian. Um, he was known as the wise one because he was able to um, remember every time he would incarnate. He was able to remember his past life as the, as the story goes. And he was able to obtain all of this knowledge. And um, look, at, look, at, look into Thoth for sure. The Emerald Tablets are a really, really interesting read. Um, but so maybe, you know, maybe we could keep our memory and, uh, keep coming back and gain knowledge. I mean, who's, to, who's to say, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's definitely out there. Something to think about. I just wanted to kind of take the edge off of, uh, just what reincarnation means and, you know, what it exactly is, because there's a lot more to it than just your average, you know, die and come back as a horse kind of deal. Um, but just wanted to spread some love, spread some thought. Uh, just my opinions. Don't hate. <laughs> Peace, everybody.